Right, guys, I'm joined by the one and the only Heat. Uh, first of all, my man, um, I like what you said on Twitter recently. Uh, the most good-looking and the most gorgeous impact heavyweight champion. It has a ring to it. I think you're right. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> you're damn right I'm right. I love it. I love it. Now, first of all, my <laughs> man, you've been around the block 20-plus years. Um, sacrifice this weekend. It's a massive match. Uh, you know your opponent quite well, Moose. Um, how are you feeling mm -hmm. heading into this big match? Man, it's um, being honest, you know, my head's just spinning. <laughs> spinning around it because, uh, you know, like my first, like, I, I, I set goals, you know, when I get to some federations and stuff, you know, and one of my first goals was to win the tag titles with Rhino. But, <laughs> but it's crazy how, like, life and, you know, opportunities presents itself, you know. It's like, you know, you have the Ring of Honor guys that are called Honor No More coming in, terrorizing stuff, jumping people in the back and just, you know, just doing whatever the hell they want. And I, I would think as a champion of the Fed, you would damn say something or do something, you know? Like, I mean, it's like I'm sitting back and I'm seeing it and everything, and I'm just like, dude, like, step up. What are you doing? And he just didn't. So – you know, when I see something, I'll call you out on it. So that's exactly what I did. And next thing I know, I'm going to sacrifice to fight the Impact Heavyweight Champion, the world champ. So it's like, uh, it's just crazy how things work out. And what's even crazier is that one year ago yesterday, like I had my surgery. Like, you know, I had to have five surgeries in one. And now next week, I'm going against the Impact Champ. So it's like... Uh, it's kind of just crazy and surreal at the moment. Um, I know Moose is tough as hell. I know he's legit can compete with any champion out there. So, of course, you know, I got a you know full plate that I got to try to handle. But, uh, I mean, the only thing I can honestly say is that, man, I'm determined and ready. And uh, I hope he's ready because uh, if not, he better polish up that title, give it one more good night kiss because I'm going to take it home with me. <laughs> He's got, he's got a smidge trying that title for you. Like, he, when, mm -hmm. when it was announced, Twitter blew up. We, we, we all would absorb Twitter because Twitter is it's real as it gets, right? And the fans are happy to see the match. You know, you've got a loyal fan base. You know, you're loved all around the world. So, <laughs> the fans are behind you going into sacrifice this weekend. But what do the fans mean to you? Because, look, your fan base is incredible. In Ireland, we adore you. Every time you came to Ireland, you know, we always, we always, <laughs> but like, you know, what does the fan base mean to you? Brother, it's everything. I mean, it's absolutely everything. If it wasn't for the fans and the people, yeah, there would be no wrestling. And if anyone says different, they're damn lying to you. Um, I am, I mean, I, I think I'm a likable guy because the people, you know, they're getting behind me and everything, and I love it, you know. I mean, it's one of those things where I'm that type of guy that I like to treat people the way I like to be treated. And, you know, it's like, you know, if you're going doing something good, man, I support you. And that's exactly what the fans has been doing for me, you know. So, I mean, the one thing that I would hate to do is let them down. But uh, I can guarantee it that I'm going to go in there and give him all the hell that I got. I love it. I like, speaking of setbacks, we know there's been a number of injuries and stuff. But how are you feeling right now? Obviously, look, you're, you're on the mend. You're, you're feeling great. Is it possible to say you're near enough the best shape you've ever been in? Um. I want to say, you know, the best shape looking, yes. I could still, you know, try to do some cardio and everything that'll warm up these lungs, you know. But, uh, but no, you know, I mean, after the surgery and everything, like, it took a lot out of me. And, um, but now it's just one of those things where, like, I, I see the horizon. I, I feel good. I, um, you know, the, the best thing I can say is that, you know, I might never be 100% again, but my 95% is better than most of these guys, 100 so uh, I think I'm gonna be pretty damn good going in there. That's all you need. Ninety five, ninety five percent of heat's enough. Um, how, how much do you love the business? Look, as you say, look, you you made that debut back in two thousand and four, but you've been in this business a long time. You've seen all the bullshit. You've seen the highs, the lows. How much do you mm -hmm. love that business and you know being in the business? Brother, I'm still doing it. That's, that's all I can say, man. I, I'm still doing it. You know, it's just one of those things that where if you haven't experienced it or been in it and got that adrenaline rush that you get for professional wrestling it's like you it's kind of hard to explain but um uh, it's just one of those you know one of the best highs of my life and just being out there and 
just doing my art, my craft, my dance, you know, it's just, uh, it's like you call it a job, but it's, I love my job. So it's not really a job for me, you know? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, man, like it's, it's great. I love it. Like that's, if I didn't love this shit, I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> that's a fact. That's true. That's true. And like you mentioned, Rhino. Look, we, we love your connection with Rhino. To me, Rhino is one of the, the greats. You know what I mean? Um, oh, yeah. What's, what's it been like to, to work with him over the years? Look, you've had a great relationship, you know, on screen, no doubt off screen as well. But obviously, he's one of the greats. Do you think, you know, Rhino should be inducted into the, the Impact Hall of Fame in, in the near future? Do I even have to answer that? No, but you know what I mean. <laughs> we have to, you know what I mean? We thought it was good to push it. Yeah, of course he should be. That's a, that's a fact. I mean, guarantee. If it doesn't happen, someone needs to get out of that booking agency for booking people in the Hall of Fame. But no, nah, that's a guarantee, man. Um, I'm hoping Rhino has another three to five years going. You know, who knows? Like he has so much other things going outside of wrestling, also that he's like success, like succeeding in. So like you know, that's great. But um, but yeah, like uh, that's a that's a hundred percent, you know, guarantee. Yes, he should be inducted. That's a fact. Hell, let me induct him. I love it. That that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. No, <laughs> f- fans worldwide can can watch Impact Plus. Heat, you know, Impact Plus is incredible. It's going to show the pay per view this weekend. Tell the fans yeah. why they should get Impact Plus because it's it's you know it's so good. Oh, dude, no, no. Impact Plus is the best, man. You see anything and everything, you know? I mean, of course. Like, it's one of those things, if you want to keep up with Impact Wrestling, because you know it's not on, like, a national television station, but that's the best way to keep up with it, you know? And it has damn good action, man. There's a lot of damn good talent at Impact, man. I mean, across the board, like, hands down. Um, from, you know, the performers in the ring to the people in the back, you know? It's just uh, one of those things to where, like, if you like Impact, you want to see the stars, the best way to watch it is Impact Plus. Well, I agree. Get so, the uh, app, people. Get the app. The app is beautiful. Yeah. Um, Heat, are you a fan of Forbidden Door? Look, we know Jay White's coming in. We sat down yesterday. We said Heat versus Jay White. You know, you, you, you beat <laughs> Booth this weekend. Jay White might want that belt. What's your thoughts hey. on Jay White and the Forbidden Door? About the forbidden door, man. Like, I don't, is there really a forbidden door? Like, is there? Because, like, honestly, if you get these promoters together and they want to start talking, you can make anything happen, you know? And we're starting to see it little by little. Of course, you know, WWE doesn't want to share with Impact and Impact doesn't want to share with AEW or AEW don't want to share with it. You know, it's like one of those things, you know, you got to keep the close ones close. But, I mean, if you have one pay-per-view a year of all the best of the best having some fun together my goodness that could be that could be something to see and watch man yeah. you know hey i might do that pay-per-view of the year and just name it that <laughs> well, that that would be epic like, we, we we did see mickey james obviously go into the rumble as the impact knockouts champion like would oh, that yeah, be, yeah would you be open to that maybe next year the rumble obviously represent an impact if it could happen Oh, of course, man. That's a fact. And Rumble is one of those fun matches, too, man. Everyone gets excited for the Royal Rumble, you know, with, you know, who's going to win, the surprises, the storylines afterwards and everything. But, no, like, with Mickey, man, I tip my hat to that girl, man. She She's killing it. And as she should. I mean, she's amazing. But, you know, going out of the WWE doors or the entranceway with the Impact title on, I mean, my goodness. Like, come on. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, breaking. Groundbreaking stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that's amazing. And, you know, Impact's been around 20-some years. So, it's one of those things that we're like, they, they ain't going nowhere. They're still here swinging, you know. And then they're still, you know, making history. So, to tip my hat to Impact Wrestling also. Oh, I love it. Now, Heat, we obviously know you're, you're, you know, one of the hottest agents in all of professional wrestling. But how happy were you to sign our contract with Impact? Because, look. When you signed for Impact, we were absolutely thrilled. You know, we thought it was a great move. You know, they're trending every week. You know, incredible roster, great pay-per-views, great shows. How happy are you to be at Impact? It's obviously a great place to be at. Oh, brother, it's such a fun atmosphere there. I mean, either behind the stage, you know, everyone's cool. Everyone's like a team player. They're trying to help the best they can, you know. And even, like, you know, the recognition you get from Impact, you know. I mean, a lot of people still watch it and everything. Um, but, no, I am happy as hell. And it's, it, what's crazy and what gets me, man, is that I literally I got hurt the day I signed. The day that I signed my contract, three damn hours later, I got hurt and I was out for a year. 
So it's like that's probably the worst investment ever, <laughs> you know. And it's just like, whoa, what the hell is going on? But I promised them. I was like, man, if y'all stick by me when I come back, I'm just going to start hitting the home runs left and right if I can. I said, it's up to you guys. I said, I just want you to know, when I come back, I'm all yours, you know. And they stuck by me, man. And that's why I told Moose out there. I said, you know, whenever I got hurt for a year, I said, the, the Impact fans, you know, the fans out there, Impact crew, they stood by my ass, you know. And I'm sorry, but if I was the champ, and ROH ran up in my damn fan in my spot. Shit. Rhino, Eddie, boys, come here. Let's, let's do something. I'd round the troops, man. Yeah. And Moose ain't doing nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they have to have See? your back. Rightly so, they have your back. Uh, hey, I have to mention, look, you're, you're a family man. I've got kids myself. Oh, yeah. I love that expression. <laughs> my nickname... On, on the podcast, Rest of Sam podcast, is he's got kids. That's thanks to you. I've got, <laughs> I've got three kids, but look, obviously it's great and you know to do the stuff for the kids. Obviously, they, they they love watching you on the telly. Obviously, that's a great thing for the kids to see. Oh, of course, man, they love it. And for the longest time, though, I kept them away. Like I kept them away from it. I mean, certainly for like, man, the first five years. Like I kept, I kept them away. Like I didn't want them to see it because like I let them watch it one time. They just start crying, you know, like, ah, oh, they're hurting you. I'm like, no, daddy's fine. See, I'm good. You know, but they just, they couldn't get it. So I, I kept them away, man. But now, you know, they're old enough to understand everything. So, you know, I'm teaching them, I'm locking up with them. I'm, I'm always wrestling with them, but, but, um, but yeah, when they see me on TV and they get excited, but the crazy thing about it is that their asses want to watch it over and over and over and i'm like babe i'm good watching this stuff one time and let's go with someone do something else but um but yeah it's like um the funny thing about it is is that i told him i was like hey you know whenever i did the whole campaign thing you know he's for impact and i got him on tv you know and i was like hey you know you got to tell scott you know i need a job and everything and this is pretty much all i'm good at and <laughs> But um, they were they were excited to see themselves on television too. Um, but no, I, I'm gonna try to get them on there more, man. Like if I can, man, I'm gonna get them on there way more. They're both entertaining as hell. And merchandise wise, it's probably good. It's good, you know, it's good for the sales and the t-shirts and stuff. We know that's it's done well over the years, like. Oh yeah, man, for sure. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Like hell, if, if Barry isn't a dad out there that don't get the respect, I'm gonna be like, dude, come on, man, <laughs> come on. I love it. I love it. He, we have to ask you, look, obviously I've been saying this every time I speak and I'm lucky enough to speak to an Impact star, we always said, but how important is it for Impact to come back to Europe? We want to see you back in the UK. We want to see you guys back in Ireland. You know the way it is. European tours are crazy, but do you reckon we're close? Yeah. Am I happy in 2022? Brother, I hope so. My goodness, I hope so. I love going to Europe. <laughs> man, you guys are wild over there, man. I remember my first few years, you hated me. Then my last years, y'all loved me. <laughs> it was, I remember I remember being in the uh, O2 arena and everyone's chanting, kill the ginger. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, shit, what? Hold on. <laughs> no, not me. I'm with Christian. Don't be mad at me. Uh, but, yeah, that and whatever ginger ninja means. I don't even know what that means. But they were chanting. Yeah, they were chanting that. And I'm just like, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> you know, probably wasn't. But I don't know. I, I think it was, you know, some of the times like afterwards, I'll be at a pub having a beer and they come up to me and be like, dude, we hate, uh, we, we absolutely love hating you, you know? And I'm just like, cheers to that, man. Hell yeah. You know, it was just fun. But now, now it's like, man, whenever, you know, uh, back in the day, whenever it was like three on B was happening and then going over there with McIntyre and them, man, it was like a switch just flipped, you know, they just were rooting for us and it was great. No, they were good times. I tell you, I was probably there. I wasn't shouting Ginger Ninja, though. I love I loved the kicks, you know what I mean? So I, it wasn't me. It wasn't yeah. me, yeah. Last of all, oh, it, was the, uh, it was the other 40,000 that was in there. Yeah. Huh? Uh, <laughs> probably, probably. Well, we love you to bits, my man. Last of all, look, we, oh, yeah. we have to mention, um, obviously, Drew McIntyre. Look, he's, he's obviously a great friend of yours. He's done quite well, but would it be good to see him back in Impact in the near future? Look, we know he loves Impact. You know, we might see yeah. him. In the It'd be great to see it, wouldn't it? Of course it would be, man. I can name, you know, about 10 guys I'd love to see in Impact. Um, but, yeah, man, Drew's up there kicking ass and taking names. And I'm sure as soon as, you know, 
he's ready to step down and do whatever he wants to do. You know, I'm sure he can come and, you know, say hi to everyone at Impact. I mean, there, why not? You know, he already put a stamp of his approval on there when he came and kicked ass at Impact. Hell, he might want to do it again. Definitely, definitely. I have to quickly ask you, look, do you ever, do you, are you absorbing with Twitter? Would you watch the rumor mill? Would you ever keep an eye on that kind of stuff? One more time. So if there's any rumors on Twitter and stuff, would you be absorbing? Would you watch all the links, you know, like Shane McMahon to go to Impact Wrestling, for example? Would that be something oh. that you believe or not believe? Uh, probably not. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I just don't believe the BS unless it comes from a source that I know knows. Yeah. You know, because that's, that's the crazy thing about it. You know, you throw everything out there and everyone's like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, you know, and nothing ever happens. And you have a hundred, some people, thousand people disappointed. Yeah. So, no, I, I don't believe any of it, man. I'm one of those guys, I wait till it happens. And when it happens, you're like, hey, there we go. Best way to be. We should all take a leaf out of your book. Listen, Heat, we hope to see you back in Ireland 2022 at Impact Wrestling. All the best yeah. weekend. You will be the most gorgeous Impact Heavyweight Champion of all time. You know what I mean? You're the man. We appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Stay safe, bro. But, man, thank you so much, man. Thanks for having me. Anytime, Heath. Thank you.